guys, Van here from rcnightmare.com. Uh, today I'm going to be walking you through how to uh, install an ESC into a slash two-wheel drive. Uh, you may have seen another uh, earlier video of ours where we removed the stock ESC. So what we're doing today is going to go through the process of um, installing the stock ESC. And again, the reason... Um, we're installing a stock one as the uh, original one uh, went bad. So uh, we have to get a replacement. And this would have actually been a good time to upgrade it to a um, brushless or something system. But because we want to do some more tests and whatnot with it, we uh, ended up getting the stock uh, ESC, the XL5. So what you see in front of me is just the ESC filter capacitors, and the easy set tip card. This is the important parts that came out of the packaging anyways. So I threw aside the uh, card there. The filter capacitors, we won't be needing this in this install just because we're putting it back with the uh, stock motor that came with the truck. However, if you're putting this on a new motor or if you have a new motor that doesn't have the uh, caps, you're going to want to install these. Um, again, this is for brushed motors. With brushless, you don't have to worry about it. So let's get to it. Here's the truck. And the ESC is going to go right here. Uh, this is where the radio is. So we're going to need access to that. Um, so let me go ahead and take out the covers here. Just two screws for the radio cover. Two more screws for the access panel there. And as you can see, the, I left the uh, two screws mounting the ESC on the body here. This is actually uh, one of those things that you're, one of, you're going to want to keep the screws in their original position. Because, you know, if you take them out and leave them somewhere, you may uh, lose track of where they are. So with all the screws removed and our access um, open up here, let's go ahead and put this guy in. Um, when putting the ESC in, it's probably going to be a good idea to put it in this orientation with the heat sink on the side of the motor, just because that's where the, the motor leads are. So you can have a, a bit of flex versus now if I turn this around and have the leads on the opposite side of the motor, it's a very tight fit. I mean, it will reach, but you're going to be adding extra strain onto the joints there, so solder joints, and uh, that's not going to be good over time. So let's turn this guy around. I'm going to thread the screws through. So just two screws to um, hold the ESC in place here. Pretty straightforward. On most ESC installs, um, you're going to end up using double-sided tape. I actually really prefer the uh, screws method because this guy ain't going anywhere, right? It doesn't matter how big of a jump landing you have versus the tape it tape is really good but uh, over time it'll decay and won't be as good and then taking it off and um, cleaning off the goo is not fun either okay so uh, let's go ahead here ESC down we're just gonna run the uh, signal cable from the ESC over to the receiver and to do that, we're going to thread it through the access um, panel here and then into channel 2. So this is going to be okay, it's a little bit of a tight fit in there with this um, 
information act here on the gap that's available, so it's got to be a little convincing there. Okay. So now with your uh, lead inside the radio box here, just run it into channel two again. Channel two is for your throttle. Channel one is for your steering. And then just make sure you lay your uh, cable flat in the access panel here. Um, this, the whole point of this access panel is to help make this uh, whole setup waterproof. Um, so if you can get the cables flat, it'll prevent any gaps and allow water to seep in. Okay, from here, put the cover back on, two screws, hold it down like so. Another two screws for the access, wire access here. One thing to know about this uh, access panel portion is there is some uh, grease on it to help uh, keep the water out. So if yours doesn't have any grease or is missing, just get some, put it on there. I suppose Vaseline would work if you don't have the particular grease. Okay, so that's running the lead into the radio and installed. The, the next thing to do, probably the last thing to do here is just to um, hook up the motor. This is a brush system using uh, bullets for the motors here. So um, black to black, red to red. Just like that. Okay, so there you have it. Um, the steps involved in uh, replacing or reinstalling a ESC into the slash two-wheel drive. Right. If you like our uh, videos, please subscribe to our channel and then also check our website at rcnightmare.com. We have a forum there where you can ask questions and uh, stuff like that. So, all right, thanks for watching, you guys.